Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while, but such is life. We need to wait and work and do all that stuff. But yeah, I'm back. Today is gonna be my January favorites for 2022. Happy New Year. So first thing first, makeup. I have been loving what's on my lashes right now. I got Essence Mascara. I have four of them and I just really wanted to see which one is the best one. Came down to these two colors. They have almost the same wand shape. As long as you use a lash curler, they won't, they, they're won't. they not They're not going to budge. I actually put this on yesterday and I fell asleep, which you should not do. And I had a little smudging when I woke up in the morning, but it stayed on. My lashes were still up and curled and it stayed on really well the only thing is if you don't use a lash curler they do smudge speaking of lashes i also purchased the tweezer man lash curler it's dirty let me clean it off i've been waiting for this to go on sale it never does the essence mascaras weren't working very well with me when i don't use the curler when i got a curler they worked fine, absolutely fine. I suggest in getting a curler that fits your eye more. I know the Revlon one is a little more like curved in, which I don't like. This one is a little flatter. And yeah, I love the color. It's like a rose goldy color, you know, rose gold, yeah. We're going with the H&M Super Fine Brow Liner. I love this. I also really like the e.l.f. one, but the H&M one, just, it's just the best for me. The only problem is that there isn't as many colors and you can only get in a certain H&M. This color is Espresso Brown, which is my favorite for my brows. And I have like five of these, um, yeah because I'm just so afraid they're gonna run out. Another find that I'm so happy I found, the Brow Fast Sculpt by Maybelline. These are amazing. I have gone through a lot of brow gels and I tried the Essence one and then the Elf one became my favorite when I found it and now I found these and they're great. It keeps your brows in place and up without really feeling like too crunchy and I like how it has like the short end where you can place the color on and the long end where you can like comb your brows up. So I have soft brown when I want a, like a fuller look and I like the clear one for like more, you know, lazy day no makeup days i'm going to the grocery store but i still want my brows to be on fleek days okay lips i actually have been using these for a very long time i have four of them because i love them so much but these are my favorite colors these are the maybelline lifter glosses they're just really really comfortable and very beautiful they're not sticky my favorite colors are stone and moon stone which is like a normal like just plain gloss and moon has like a little bit of reflect little glitter here and there but not too much next this is the flower beauty heat wave bronzer it's like a satin almost a satin finish the color is a little warm but not too warm for me so i do like to bronze with this it gives my skin this nice glowy not too glowy effect if you know what i mean and i really want to try other flower beauty products i really want to get their blushes as well speaking of blush i have been loving the maybelline fit me blush this was on sale i'm I've, i always try to buy my makeup on sale this one is in the color nude and i just really love it it's like a very natural color for my skin tone it's not too pinky like springtime pink but it's not too mauvey like autumn mauve i thought it was a matte blush but it's actually got this glow glow to it but not too glowy so it's a very natural flush in my opinion my favorite foundation by far is the nars uh, soft matte complete foundation i've been trying to get this for the longest time and when sephora had like this sale thing i finally caved and got it my exact shade is mont blanc light 2 it's my exact shade and I never find my exact shade, especially with drugstore foundations. I never, I have to always mix the two foundations to get my shade. With this one, all I have to do is dab on my face and that's just like completely amazing for me. I love this foundation. It gives you a nice soft matte as it says, but in the winter time, it tends to be a little drying. So you do have to put some kind of lotion or primer or something moisturizing, especially if you're on the dry side. I'm on the oily side, but I still notice it a little bit drying on my cheeks. So I do put like a sunscreen before I put this. This lasts all day, it doesn't really transfer very much and I really, really do enjoy it. I love this, I'm gonna be repurchasing this for sure. What? These are brushes. So the first brush I'm gonna be talking about is the e.l.f. Putty Primer Applicator Brush. This is an amazing brush. It's a nice small brush, good for contouring. I really, really like the shape of this and the feel is, it's just really high quality. I don't use this end because I don't have the putty primer. I want another one. I want like five of these. Another set of brushes I want to talk about is 
NYX. NYX has some amazing makeup brushes. This is the NYX Professional Makeup Makeup Brush in 37 and this is in 03. So this is more like a powder or blush brush. Uh, I kind of like to use this as like a powder touch up. It's a little too big for blush. And this one is my foundation brush. I love this for foundation. This is just, this is the angled, like almost dense brush. They're just so high quality in my opinion and they're not as expensive. This one I got on sale for like $17 or even less than that. Hey. Thank you, love you. Last item in the makeup category is something I didn't really expect to ever purchase because I'm not a big fan of the show. But it's this palette by NYX. It's the La Casa de Papel Money Heist palette. I got this on sale. It was like half off and I decided to just cave and get it because it was the last one. I really like this. It's the thing I'm wearing on my eyes today. The mattes are beautiful. They're soft. They're pigmented. They're easy to blend. The shimmers are a little you have to spray them down to make it like really pop. I don't really like the packaging, but the colors are just really nice. I'm gonna use this a lot and I love this. So next is skincare. First is nail care. It's just one item. It's just the, this is just the nail color remover pads by H&M. Basically they're acetone free nail liquor like removers they're really good and they're very moisturizing to the nails without like it's not harsh unlike when you use acetone to remove your nail polish you it's it's super drying and then you have to moisturize your nails to make sure they don't get damaged this one's amazing i have like four of these because when they went on sale when they go on sale go grab like five of them or four of them because they are that good another favorite is the cerave ultra light moisturizing lotion spf 30. this one i use in every morning for SPF. It's really nice and light and it's very moisturizing and it comes in a pump which I love. And this is great under makeup as well. I like it so much that I introduced it to my sister and now she's obsessed. So. so another face product I have been absolutely in love with is the Ordinary Glycolic Acid 7%. This is so affordable for how much you get and it smells, it, it smells like a chemical but it's not unpleasant in my opinion and it's cheaper than the pixie one the pixie one i absolutely love it smells amazing but it's so expensive like twice the price of this and I, I it does the same thing i just use it once at night before i put my serums or moisturizers and i really do see a difference when i use this so my sister got this for me for christmas it's the L'Occitane immortal reset Hule en serum i don't know how to pronounce it i'm sorry it looks just like this weird thing in a bottle with little eggs i don't know it looks so creepy but i love this stuff i i notice the difference it does on the days i use it and the days that i don't use it so what i do is i put that glycolic serum um on on a cotton pad and then i put this on while it's still a little damp and then i put like a moisturizer on and i do really like this i have a body oil that i really want to talk about i love it so much it's this yeah it's yeah, this is the Neutrogena body oil, especially during the winter time or the dry seasons. Uh, after bathing, while your skin is slightly damp, it's gonna you're gonna just put this all over your body, and it's just gonna dry, and you'll just smell like this really luxurious, yummy, yumminess, and it smells so good. It's very moisturizing. I love my body when I use this, but not in the summertime. It's a little too much in the summertime. Another favorite that I found is the Monday Shampoo and Conditioner. So this is in Smooth. They have like Smooth, Gentle Smooth, Volume. And I did try a Volume. I didn't like it as much. The Smooth version is my favorite. So I used them both together. And I just noticed I have a little dry patch of hair that it's like permanent damage, I think. No matter what I do, it's always going to be dry. And I use so many different kinds of shampoo and conditioner and deep conditioners and when it when my hair dries it dries in this like weird like you know like it just sticks out like this. I notice that if I use this in the smooth version it doesn't do that and my hair just feels really nice when I use this. So I will be purchasing the smooth version again. Volume not so much, but yeah, smooth is good. 
finally last for skincare I think this is still skincare I broke it because I didn't like the little tip that comes in but this is the Katy Perry Killer Queen perfume I love this it's not so expensive it smells it smells really I don't know what it smells like I'm gonna put some information over here or here or here or here I don't know it looks absolutely gorgeous look at that it's a, it's it's a it's a ruby diamond thing I love the smell of this. Some other things that are not makeup related, but I, had I just have to mention it. So I have been having the hardest time when I buy vegetables and after like two days they're all, they're bad. I decided to invest in these containers. So what they are is they're like, you put your vegetables in, there's like this little basket and then you just close it and you can like open this thing. Um, and it just makes your vegetables last so much longer than if you just put it in the chiller it's or, or like wrap it in like this paper or something this is this is the best i have my kale and my lettuce in this it's been over a week and they're still like nice and green and not soggy i love this i got this at winners um they have a bunch of different sizes i'm planning to get the smaller ones for my berries but yeah i love this adulting another thing that i have been obsessed with is I got this at Facebook Marketplace because, I mean, why not? If you can find something for cheap on Facebook Marketplace, why not? This is the Magic Bullet. So I have been trying to add more fiber in my diet. So I got the Magic Bullet. It comes with like a bunch of these, like maybe seven, I can't remember, um, cups. And um, all you do is like, you just plug it in and then just press it and it will like blend. And you get like your cup. If you have a cover as well and then you have your blade and all you do is put whatever thing I usually have I'm gonna show you what I use but fruits and the 2% or skim milk and then your protein powder or whatever just give it a good shake or blend and then you drink it and that's good and I try to eat yogurt every day and I don't like the taste of plain yogurt or Greek yogurt so I just put it in and I don't even taste the yogurt so I love this stuff I use it every day and I'm so glad I got it it's this called Pact, 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 Pact. These are smoothie kits. My sister actually got this for me when I got the Magic Bullet. They just come in like these pre-packed, oh, pre-packed, packed. There's like Power Energy Nourish. So this one, for example, is the Nourish kit. It's got like bananas and a bunch of leaf, leaf thingies. I think that's kale or something. And then it comes with like a little powder, which you can use this or not. It's got flaxseed, pumpkin seed, a bunch of other stuff, depending on what you prefer. And all you have to do is like put this, dump it in the cup, blend it with your Nutri Blender, and you're done. That's it. That's it. Oh, of course, add milk, whatever kind of milk you want. I add milk, 2% lactose free milk. You can add honey for flavor. I add yogurt to make it a little thicker. And yeah, it's just, it just makes everything so simple just using this. This is not sponsored. It's for lazy people. But one thing I am very happy about is my bag over here. This is vegan leather. I got it. I, my sister has a brown one and I have a black one. I've been trying to start reading and bringing my books. You know, when I travel, I bring my book and I just kill time by reading instead of staying on my phone, which I think is healthier. So I have a bag where I can actually put my book inside and it's got nice, it's got a lot of stuff. It's from a brand called Mystique. I really like their bags. This is actually the second or third bag I got from them. I wasn't even aware that it was the same brand as my other bag, so that's kind of cool. And it's and it's nice that it's vegan leather. Again, not sponsored. My final item is the book I've been reading this month. It's Death on the Nile by Agatha Christie. I have been obsessed with Agatha Christie. I've read so much of her books already, and I am just so excited. I'm not that far yet i'm hoping to end this or finish this by february the end of february i kind of want to do a one book a month thing we'll see how long i'll be doing that. but yeah so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and please give me a like subscribe down below ring the bell for notifications and i kind of forgot how to do this but yeah Thank you. Clouded skies and countryside, it all comes flooding back to me.